Hey guys, uh, I wanted to point something out to you here this morning. Uh, we're just starting a brand new basement here today, and we had some existing plumbing that was sticking up out of the floor that was put in by the builder for a future bathroom. Now the homeowners have decided they don't want a bathroom at all. I've got a sewage ejector pit in the floor behind me here and two pipes. One was for the toilet, the other one was for probably uh, a vanity. I don't see any hookups or any rough-ins for a, for a tub or a shower. but. I've got a toilet pipe, which I think is a three inch pipe, and uh, I think a two inch pipe over here, and a sewage ejector sticking up out of the floor. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this. Okay, you might have something similar in your basement in an area where you wanna make an open room or just don't like the location of the bathroom that the builder put in. Uh, so you wanna get rid of this stuff. Um, now I've already done it. You can see I've got a saws all down there on the floor. I've already cut these off. I'm just gonna knock them off there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill these holes here with expansion foam and uh, pack that down in the hole. And then we're going to fill that over with about three inches of concrete, all right, and smooth it over. That way the flooring can roll right over top of those holes, all right, you'll never even know they were there. We haven't done it yet, but we're going to take the same saws off. We're going to cut the top lip off of that sewage ejector pit. And you can see we're just cutting that off with a sawzall blade flush with the concrete floor. And there you go. And then what we'll do is we'll just fill that up with some rock and stone. About three, four inches from the top. Mix up some concrete and just cream that baby over and turn it back into floor. All right, so all you need to do that is a sawzall with a multi-purpose blade, chop them off and uh, get them prepped up, ready to go to uh, fill back in. So let me add to that. Uh, we cut these off all the time when we're moving the bathroom rough in location to another area of the basement because we hardly ever, ever use the pipes that the builder put in. They're never in the right spot. So. We're doing this all the time. Now, if we were putting a bathroom in this basement, which we're not because the homeowner doesn't want one down here, uh, which is also a rare thing for us because we put them in probably 90% or better of our basements, we would fill these in, cut them off, move the bathroom location to the area that we want to be in, and then we'd do the rough in again. We'd put a new sewage ejector pit in the floor and we'd pre -plumb, plumb the pipes underneath the floor, just like the builder had it plumbed in before he poured this concrete floor in the basement. Uh, we would cut them off, move it over, and then redo it. And I'm sure you've seen me do that in other videos as well. So in any case, if you like this video, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps my channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Basement Finishing Man YouTube channel yet, and you're thinking about doing your basement, if this kind of stuff interests you, please subscribe. I've got new videos coming out a couple times a month. And uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. That way when I do pump out a new video, you'll get a notification saying, hey, Eddie's got another one ready to go. All right, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.